So I'm just on Lehman Street, which is a really interesting street in the East End. Um, it's the main, my main thing at the minute is I'm going to wash my hands and my feet in that water. There's chemicals in it, but uh, I can live with that. I did it last year. A few people do do that. It's just to kind of keep the water clean. So this street here, so, so that big huge building there, Back in 1888, 134 years this year. Uh, so that was really where the main police office was. So that was where Frederick Abelan uh, and all the rest of the, the big cheeses of uh, the Victorian police kind of based the case on Jack the Ripper. And a bit further down there is a pub. I'm not going to go down there because I did it last year. But uh, that was the scene of where George Cornell beat up Ronnie Cray. So uh, I'm going to get washed in here. To be honest, I'm uh, day on the day Wednesday. Uh, just wait there, get my stuff. So, come on the Monday, got drunk, woke up without my phone. And so I was rough yesterday beyond walking about. And to be honest, it did enter my mind to just go home. I was sick of it. Uh, so I'll tell you what happened from my phone. So basically, I slept in a... Uh, I slept in Mitre Square. Right there. So I slept in Mitre Square and I woke up with everything without my phone. Everything but my phone. Spent an hour looking for it. Gone, completely gone. Went and bought another one. Didn't really know how to work that. Um, and I, I was just like, completely set on going home. I thought, what am I going to say? Uh, can't film anymore. And then basically spoke my wife and she said, Gary Hutton, a uh, friend of mine, lovely guy, has got it, uh, can get it. And I was like, how could, I've just lost it in the biggest city in Great Britain. So it turns out that, so someone said they found it outside St. Boltoff's church. When I was nowhere near that, I had it in my hand. Um, so basically, Gary rang it and said, all right, Jamie, we're still meeting tomorrow. So the person who had my phone, and I think robbed it, heard the message uh, and actually knew who Gary Hutton was. So he rang and said, are you Gary Hutton from Whitechapel? Blah, 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 I've got it. So my knight in shining armor, Gary Hutton, went and got my phone give me a totally fully on charge last night and uh, basically anywhere in the world I'd have lost my phone I wouldn't have got it but because you know this guy's story was he found it in a place I wasn't there I think he's been mooching about on the night seeing me asleep my phone next to it and thought I'll have that but uh, I can't slag him off because he give me it back you know he wouldn't have had it. but basically Gary Hutton's rang me saying alright Jamie we're still meeting tomorrow and this possible thief has been like, I know Gary Hutton. I kid you not, listen, that story might be really, really far-fetched, but it's true. Um, I couldn't believe it. So there you go. That's, that's the reason why I wasn't filming yesterday. Uh, I went to Argos, bought another one, and couldn't even work it. Bought some top-up, didn't even know how to get it on. Uh, and I was just pissed off, really. I thought, you know what, I'm fucking had enough of this. But... Um, Anyway, all is good because so I found water so I can wash my hands just keep swapping my hands while I'm talking to you but uh, that's the true that's, that, that's basically what happened while I, I didn't have a phone and uh it sounds like a complete far-fetched story, but as far as I'm aware, 
Uh, and, and you know what, Gary met me last night, finished the Jack the Ripper tour, nine o'clock, and Gary met me in, in Mitre Square and gave me the phone back. So, yeah, it sounds completely and utterly far-fetched, but it's true. Um, so there, so I'm gonna go and meet Gary now and uh, treat him to pie and mash, my absolute hero. So anyway, I'm gonna wash my hands a bit more and uh, I'll speak to you guys later on.